Hello everyone and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today we have had a big swarm, a massive swarm south of the Salton Sea. <laughs> Bye Zoe. Sorry my sister is going to practice. Um, so the largest quake um, is being a magnitude 4.9 northwest of Westmoreland, California. I think that's how it's pronounced. And with 292 fell reports, I'm not surprised because it was kind of in an isolated area. Felt, um, felt reports up here in Anaheim, this area, down where I live, that's surprising. Actually, no, it's really not, because 2.0 shaking could be felt all the way up to there. Yeah, there goes the globe, we can close that. So, yeah, shaking fell all around the San, San Diego area. And then if you were very close to the quake, like these people here, you cr could have probably felt shaking up to 7.5? Wow. Holy moly. Here, I'm just gonna pull up because there was like at least like 53.0 quakes so I'm just gonna pull yeah and 2.0s so I'm just gonna pull up all of the 4.0 quakes real quick the 4.1 4.2 and a 4.3 now I can close the globe again <laughs> which one happened first which one was the original big one 9.30, Oh, I see. So this one was the first one, the 4.4. I did not feel this one. I didn't feel the 4.2 either. But the 4.9, I did because my screen just had like a little, little wobble. So yeah, those two I did feel. But then the 4.4 happened almost at 12 o'clock UTC. And then the maximum shaking you could have felt here is up to 5.0. Yeah, that's expected. So yeah, the, all these basically occurred in the same area, but I'm going to pull up the largest quake. Pull it up here on Google Earth and see what fault it occurred on. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. It's the Brawley Seismic Zone. I don't know why they don't just call it the San Andreas, but they do what they do. Where's the line? Probably side. Oh yeah, they remove it, didn't, don't they? Yeah, because the San Andreas goes all the way up to there. Then between here and here, all of this is the Brawley Seismic Zone. But if I pull up Fault, the Fault map, then a little line should appear right here. Brawley Seismic Zone. <laughs> yeah. Strike slip Fault, I think. Right lateral, yeah. And let's see how far this was from our seismometers. Sorry about that. Ooh, it's laggy. Can close that. Um, around a hundred miles. So yeah, pretty good distance. Even though our seismometers picked up really well. Speaking of that, let's go on to our Infotech seismometer. Here you can still see. This is an aftershock. There. There's another aftershock going on right now. Who would have guessed? This, this was the big quake. This was the one that was that I felt. Because there was the 4.9 here. Then there was like a bunch of 3.0 and 2.0 aftershocks. Then there was a th another 3.0 there. And I'm assuming this is another 3.0 hitting right now. And then... <laughs> yeah. And then this one was the 4.4. Pretty decent sized quake. Felt all the way in the mammoths. P wave, S wave. But the swarm actually started a bit before that. The only detectable quake before that is right here. But it was actually started like all the way back here, like 21 UTC. Because it was starting in like 1.0 quakes. But then it progressively got bigger until the 4.9. So yeah, a bunch of aftershocks in between too. But that's that for the Infotech. Now on to the Raspberry Shake. Oh yes, the raspberry shake. Pretty good rings here too. It's taking a while to load. The 4.4 was kind of covered up. Here is, but this is the 4.4. P wave got all the way up to 3,000 counts and below negative 3,000. S wave got up to almost 5,000 and below negative 5,000. So yeah, pretty, pretty good sized quake. Then on the spectrogram, you can see a bit lower frequency because the quake was 100 miles away. And it goes on for a while before it fades out. 
Yeah, pretty good quake there. When... When was the 4 point... The 4.2? I didn't see that one here on the Raspberry Shake, actually. 4 point... I guess they downgraded it. 4.0, maybe? When was that one? 58 UTC. So, like, right here? Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, when I load in new data, when I didn't load in on its own, it takes a while. But yeah, you can see. Okay, size quake. This is a big swarm, though. I'll, get, I'll say that. We have got above and above a thousand counts and below negative a thousand counts, and then S wave basically didn't change much. And yeah. We picked up a bunch of the smaller quakes here too, but like, they didn't really show up as much, just like separated readings because, you know, they're smaller. So, yeah, and then S-Wave here, above 15,000 count. P-Wave got above 10,000 counts and below negative 10,000 counts. And S-Wave S got um, almost to 20,000 counts and below negative 20,000 counts, so yeah, pretty big quake. Actually, the same size as the Anta Quake, believe it or not. It's just the quake was a lot further away. And then Spectrogram, really good readings. P Wave here gets pretty dark. And then S Wave hits right here. Gets even darker. And then it slowly fades out. Doesn't really fade out until like right there. Right here. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. <coughs> Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys again in the next video.